and that is with my camera, which is now white camo. As you guys can kind of see, I just wrapped my FX3 and my drone white camo the other day, but yesterday I woke up at 220 pounds, like fasted, legit morning weight. Today I was a little bit lighter, around like 218, because I'm not holding as much water weight as I was yesterday, but I can officially say that my legit fasted morning weight was 220 pounds, so I'm gonna keep the bulk going, but today is a very special day because I'm going to be maxing out my squat and bench, and then I have to come home, pack up all my stuff because I'm flying out to Miami tomorrow for Gymshark's Lift Miami event. I'm gonna be over there for like four to five days, so. This is going to be my last meal before I go and train. I'm gonna have a banana, two Chobani yogurts, and some maple granola, a little bit of blueberries. It's about five to 600 calories right here. And it's currently 2 p.m. So I'm probably gonna go train closer to four o'clock or leave here at 3.30. So I'm gonna let that fully digest. And after I eat that, I'm going to be stretching out. I'm gonna use the Theragun on my like teardrops, pecs, all of that stuff so I can make sure I'm feeling absolutely 125%. I took basically the last two days off the gym so I've just been resting, recovering, letting my central nervous system recharge and hopefully I can hit some big PRs before I go out to Miami. So 545 squat and then 365 bench is hopefully going down in a few hours. So right here I have a Pedialyte and I actually drank one last night and one this morning. I don't know if I need another one, I might sip on this a little bit just because I have it maybe taken to the gym with me, but the reason I've had, the reason I'm having Pedialyte before my max out is because this one container has 780 milligrams of potassium and 1,030 milligrams of sodium. So this is something you definitely want to be having before you go for something extremely heavy. And I've also been just hydrating as much as I can as well, eating a ton of food. But the thing with eating is that, especially for squats and deadlifts, yeah, you want to have a lot of food in your system, but if you're bloated at all and not fully digested, that's gonna inhibit your training a decent amount. The belt, it's not gonna fit as nice, your bracing's not gonna be as well, and that can mess you up a really good amount. So that's why I wanna eat this meal at least an hour and a half before I train, and I'll probably be going on a walk as well, just so I can make sure everything's like fully digested, feeling good, because I need everything to be 100% optimized. Here's a look at the Arctic Camo drone. Shit came out pretty clean, in my opinion. I keep accidentally shutting my camera off and I'm like waving the shit all around, but, so I have to refilm this, but anyway, I just finished up a Zoom call that I had to be on for like 20 to 30 minutes. And now, I'm about to take my pre-workout stack, which is usually just one scoop of normal pre, one scoop of pump from Euphoria, code Fagan will get you 15% off, but I'm digging up some extra supplements today because we're maxing out, so I got the 1-3, and let's see what else is in here, honestly never opened this because I just think Euphoria, shit, we have a... ESP Extreme. I like how I just have random smelling salts in the supplement cabinet. But yeah, we'll be doing some 1 3 today, which has caffeine pre. I feel like I'm missing. I did it again. Shut the camera off while turning it around, but yeah, I feel like I'm missing something. I did take an ibuprofen earlier, so I don't feel a fucking thing. But yeah, I think that's gonna be enough to make me feel absolutely superhuman. So I'll show you guys exactly how much I'm going to take of everything when I figure that out for myself, so. 
So for pre-workout, we have just short of two scoops of euphoria and one one three dimethyl pill, which has 125 milligrams of caffeine. And this is definitely a very heavy pre-stack. I haven't taken anything this extreme in a long time, but it's not too crazy because what I realized is that for me, I've taken way too much shit when I'll try to max out. I'll eat way too much food the day before, come and feeling like lethargic and just not good. And I'll take so many stimulants that it literally makes me all jittery, shaky. I feel like nervous. I get goosebumps everywhere. And it makes the weight feel so heavy. And I, I, I end up being way weaker than I would be if I didn't do that at all. So I definitely want to go pretty heavy on the pre. Feel extremely good, hyped up, but not going overboard is a very big thing that I'm going to be smart about. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to go. Going to drink this right now, get in the car, and listen to some sick music, get hyped up, and we're maxing out, baby. Let's go. So a couple things I want to say before I head to the gym. One thing is I just picked up these new Skull Candy headphones the other day. Now these are the Skull Candy Crusher or something. I know the Crusher Evos are the really good ones. And I wish I got those, but at the Walmart I was at didn't have them. So I ended up just getting these ones. And I just got super sick of the Apple AirPod Pros falling off my head 24 seven. And these are literally half the price, have the adjustable base, which is pretty crazy. I think they're a lot better in my opinion than the Apple headphones and I also got pulled over for the first time in my life yesterday yes I got a little card from the sheriff but he ended up letting me go which is pretty hype I mean it wasn't my first time ever getting pulled over so that's pretty nice I didn't get a ticket there but I was just thinking about squatting 545 pounds today or at least attempting to squat that and it just seems like pretty crazy to me because that is still so much weight on a deadlift and to think I'm gonna have that on my back and squat it is just like literally I'm having trouble comprehending that I'm about to do that right now and I remember pulling my first ever 545 deadlift sumo out at Zoo Culture and Lex Little was there yelling up for me and that was actually the first time I like really messed up my back on the deadlift because it was just so heavy for me. I think I was 19 years old and I just got a ton of lumbar rounding like I literally felt my pelvis tuck under the bar as I was pulling it and my back was messed up for like a solid month after that no deadlifts and I was like pretty scared when I did that and to think I'm at a level where I'm gonna have that on my back and squat is just like mind boggling, but it's pretty crazy what you can do when you're just consistent for so long, eating tons of food and everything. And who knows, maybe one day this is gonna be like a chill warm up weight for me. So we'll see, but yeah, this pre should be kicking in very soon. And I'm about to listen to some music. I don't know what yet, but. So usually since I just take 200 milligrams of caffeine a day, I never feel my pre-workout initially hit me. I'll just be going harder at the end of my workouts and last a little bit longer. But fuck does it feel good to just have that pre-workout hit and just feel that like euphoric feeling. I just keep smiling because I'm like, fuck man. And it's kind of funny, some people when they get like super hyped up, they love to like scream and shit. I feel like I always have to like force out a scream. I just like feel it all internally. I just feel like I'm gonna fucking explode. But it like Loki feels so good. So I just had a little warm up with some dumbbells, RDLs, a couple sets of leg extensions, just extremely light, getting some blood flow. And we put the knee sleeves on underneath the pants. And then I just put a plate on the bar, so. I'm going to set this camera up on my tripod right now and we're going to get the squat session started.
five moved pretty good, and I just threw 475 on, which is going to be my last warm up, and then we're jumping to 545. Some big boy weight. You think I got it? Uh, yeah, I haven't seen it in a while, so I'm kind of skeptical. Yeah, and then we're gonna drop it down and bench where Jackson will join in. Probably Devin. Yeah. That was fucking clean. Dude. That fucking move. Like, that would be like, like, like that. But it still feels fucking heavy though. Yeah, but it looks. Debating going up to 565, but honestly, you I want to just stay safe, not get injured, and you want your PRs to like look beautiful, smooth, and pretty quick. So now we're going on a bench over here and hopefully put up 365. And I always feel so good benching after like a heavy squat or deadlift because my central nervous system is so ramped up, everything's warm, feeling good. So let's go start warming up, continue the PRs, and hit 365. Thank <laughs> you. 
fuck yeah, bro. Lockout's easy. Have a fucking Lockout's day. easy for me. <laughs> yeah, I literally haven't pulled deadlifts in so long. <laughs> I don't know. I ripped my thumb open though. Dude, it's just too fucking easy. What should I do now? <laughs> OHP? Two so after I hit that 365 bench, I ended up going to conventional deadlifts, which I haven't been doing much of at all, and I haven't pulled 600 yet. So I just decided to pull it and ended up pulling it pretty clean, which I'm pretty hyped about. And I'm feeling actually pretty fresh and pretty good right now for just maxing out my squat bench and deadlift. So I'm gonna get a little pump right now, probably hit some delts, maybe upper chest, a little bit of back, kind of whatever I feel like. <laughs> You're granted permission. <laughs> Dude, did you just walk in front of my fucking tripod, kid? I don't know. I don't know why people trip about that. <laughs> See you after Miami. Thanks, bro. What's good? So I just got back from the gym about 15, 20 minutes ago, and it's coming up on eight o'clock. So I'm gonna end the video here because I'm flying out to Miami extremely early tomorrow, and I haven't done any laundry or packed anything whatsoever. So I need to do all of that, eat roughly 3,000 calories, and then I'm still gonna upload all this footage, get it saved on a hard drive, and probably start editing up this video as well pretty soon here. So yeah, make sure you guys stay tuned to the YouTube channel because my my next video will be the Lift Miami event with Gymshark, which is going to be an absolute banger. So that should be dropping in about a week to a week and a half from now. Extremely hyped to uh, be able to max out on everything. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video in Miami. So thank you for watching and peace out.